Uh, well, hello everybody. Uh, welcome to my new series. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to name it yet, but something around Java game development with uh, 2D. And uh, I, before we start, uh, every time you see these tutorial series on YouTube, there is the first episode that totally sucks uh, <laughs> that you just have to sit through and watch everything set up and general information about the whole thing. So at first, uh, to give you some kind of motivation, we are gonna write a game uh, in Java. I strongly recommend you to learn a little bit of Java before. It's not gonna be too complicated, but you should know about object-oriented uh, object oriented languages and uh, yeah, stuff like that, methods, parameters, all that things. Uh, if you don't know that, you can learn it from uh, many sources, for example, uh, the new Boston or whatever. I'm just gonna put that all in the description so I won't bore you now. But okay, let's, let's start off. Um, we're gonna use this uh, development framework. The cool thing about it is it's uh, actually pretty fast. Uh, I watched some uh, speed comparisons uh, for Android and well, it, uh, this one at all, uh, it runs somewhat multi-platform. It's using OpenGL. Uh, and the cool thing is, yeah, it, it's actually running on Windows, Linux, Mac, Android, iOS. E yeah, here is uh, iOS uh, and HTML5. So it's just running on everything and there's so much support for us we actually we don't even have to do anything to write the, the whole game. <laughs> so all right. Uh let's go. Uh yeah, like I said, we're going to write uh the second part of this game that I already made. Uh I made this game with another library where I when I didn't know of this one and well, it's it's nothing special. <laughs> it's uh, actually it's uh, uh, well, I don't know. It's not so great, but I'm gonna just uh, show you that real quick, so that you know what I'm talking about. Okay, my computer's probably a little bit slow at the moment because of the screen recording. Uh, I hope the frame rate is okay. I really hope it. Yes, my computer is a little bit slow today with the recorder, but yeah, the game will load up just in a minute. Uh, yeah. Alright, so uh, it's finally booted up. Uh, it took around a minute, but usually it's faster. Uh, well, it's, uh, yeah, it, it's called Black Point, and uh, the 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 idea of the game is not made by me it was by uh someone uh, from my class well x class or something well and the idea is really simple um you see you are well oh my mouse is catched inside the window but whatever you see this this little uh, black point here and you see that the background is black and you just have to get to the cyan field in the bottom right there so yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there are they, these uh, green walls where you just can't pass through. Uh, where the heck am I? Let's re let's respawn and see. Yeah, you just have to do that and that and that. And later there come these red lines where you die, and more red lines, and uh, then it's getting pretty crazy in the end. But okay. That's actually all we need to know to start off. So we're gonna make that way cooler, okay? I don't want to do that like this again. Um, we're gonna use instead of just white and black boxes, we're gonna use like lights, just lights. So at, at first, it's gonna look way better with lights. And second, we can actually, yeah, we we can do something like obstacles that move in a physics environment or or we make it side scroll now let's not let's not do it side scroll but yeah i you get the idea okay 
I hope you do. Uh, otherwise, you'll just see. So, okay. To start it off now, you need this. Uh, to get it, you are just going on libgdx.badlogicgames.com and click on download and source. Uh, it's pretty simple to understand actually. Then you just go latest nighty build, nightly build, yeah. Uh, and actually, instead of just downloading the latest build, they have something pretty cool. You go into the dist and then you download just this file gdx setup ui dot jar um, I already downloaded it so I'm not going to do that again uh, well once you did it you get this file and yeah that pretty much contains everything you'll ever need <laughs> that's the first cool thing about this uh, development framework uh, let's just run real quick and set up a project Yeah, real quick with this green recorder is oh okay, there we go. So y oops, there we are. We want to create a project. Um and actually, what we want to use? Uh, okay, let's at first say the name. It's gonna be Black Point. Yeah, I thought of that. Black Point Two. Uh, then your package. Uh, usually, if if you're new to Java game development or whatever, um, you usually if you have a website, you use the uh, extension or whatever it's called. So I'm uh, I'm not a native English speaker, so sorry for any language mistakes or pronunciation mistakes or whatever. But okay, net dot fan dot uh, black point two. That's not actually my website, but if I would have one, I'd name it like this. <laughs> um, game class is gonna be Black Point Two. That's that's like your um, yeah your main class that's first being executed when you run the application. You can also call it main or maybe even this. Okay, you can't. But anyway, you just Black Point Two, and that's alright. Um, I don't want to generate the iOS project because I'm not going to deploy to iOS uh, because that costs around 200 bucks and I just don't want to deploy to iOS because I dislike it. So we are just going to use these two uh, third party libraries. Um, yeah, you check these boxes, then they're going to be included in the project. And you want to click on these here, uh, then it just downloads them real quick. I already did that, uh, so yeah. Uh, here you can choose between the stable and the nightly version uh, for libgdx, which is yeah the whole thing. The stable version uh, is like normal releases. Uh, yeah, you can go with that. It's gonna be all right. But actually, it's recommended to use the nightly version. It's a version that their server builds every night and. Yeah, it's going to have the latest bug fixes and everything. So you just click on that, and y oh no, I shouldn't have clicked that. Is my file still alright? Uh, yeah. Let's just let's just say it's alright. Okay. Um, yeah, you're just going to download that. That's going to take some time, and there we go. Open the generation screen, launch. Oh damn. Oh damn. Damn, 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 damn. I should concentrate. Uh, yes. No. Oh, God. No, no, it's generating everything. Okay, fuck that. <laughs> we have to choose the destination, of course. Uh, so we go in like own documents, Eclipse, and there we are. That's way better. Open generation screen and do it again. Uh, it's pretty fast. Bam. That's all we need, and we can close this. Uh, yes. So let's just jump into Eclipse. Here we just right click, import existing projects into workspace. We are selecting the root directory 
uh, what's the workspace folder yeah and these are the ones that aren't imported yet so we're just gonna import them all so don't be afraid now if you get some errors like these um, they say on their website that for this uh, HTML project you're going to get uh, the problem here so we just go quick fix and if it's like this here it's alright and we just go finish that problem is resolved uh, for the Android one they didn't uh, tell us before but it's actually really simple as well we just go uh, you see that here right uh, right click properties Android and check this one or you can also check this one I think but I I, I check this one and yeah there we go uh, oh right I forgot to mention <laughs> sorry um, you actually need a crap lot of stuff um, yeah you need the Google web tool kit I think it's called like that yeah for the HTML you need the Google web toolkit SDK uh, then let me just see where we can download that it's like Google web tool kit uh, just real fast it took me some uh, time to install that because I mess everything up but I think it's really simple uh, everything you need is on this website download and whatnot yeah plugin for Eclipse and SDK and yeah like set up Eclipse blah 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 I think you're going to be alright with this if you're not uh, just ask in the comments or whatever uh, next we need the Android Android ADK Android SDK or ADK whatever you're gonna find it um, use an existing IDE download the SDK tools for Windows that's uh, pretty cool as well yeah we, we're definitely gonna read this all okay it's it's uh, I read it and uh, it was a so stunning story definitely so yeah we just you you're going uh, to be alright with this you're going to be alright I don't want to do a setup tutorial only now uh, if you're not alright um, if if enough people request uh, like they didn't get along with this uh, I can make another video video showing how to set all that stuff up but as long as you're alright you're alright you get what I mean okay so now that we installed all this crap here Google Web Toolkit, uh, Android, SDK, Virtual Device stuff, blah 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 blah. We can finally uh, go and, well, yeah, start a project. But I think the screen recorder just records like 15 minutes. 15? Yeah. And I don't want to make this too long now. It's a pain in the ass to upload, and especially with 219 kilobits per second. And yeah just uh, if you got any questions or any improvements for for me like if I'm talking too fast or you can just not understand me I think I'll hear that later just whatever uh, tell me I suck uh, and I stop uh, whatever <laughs> okay so thank you for watching and uh, yeah see you next time hopefully